For centuries, explorers from around the world have searched for magical water, a curative spring, the fountain of youth, where pure and refreshing water could make the body healthy, resilient, and turn back the hands of time. Even in modern times, the search for healing water continues. When scientists conducted experiments on places where water was said to have miraculous properties, like Lourdes in France and glacial streams in the Himalayas, they made an amazing and important discovery. The pH levels of these beneficial waters tended to be very alkaline and highly ionized. About 40 years ago, Russian scientists ran ordinary water past magnetically charged plates and devised a simple method of separating water into two streams, one alkaline and one acidic, a process called ionization. This early ionization technology has been advanced and improved to the point that now simple tap water can be literally transformed into living, energized water with a wealth of life-changing properties. Some scientists even suspect that it's the accumulation of acidic wastes that triggers aging and disease. My foundational theory is that there's only one sickness and one dis disease, and that's the over-acidification of the blood, then tissues. What causes this? Lifestyle and dietary choices. So all disease is a consequence of choice what we're eating, what we're drinking, and what we're thinking. The body has to work very hard to maintain its pH level because we are constantly producing acid wastes. Nutrients from our food are delivered to our cells, which they burn with oxygen, to provide energy for us to live, leaving byproducts or wastes, which are almost always acidic. Our bloodstream would normally just pick up these wastes and filter them through the liver, kidneys, colon, or skin for elimination. But our high-stress lifestyles, lack of rest, type of foods we eat, toxins or pollutants we're exposed to, and a myriad of other factors impact our body's ability to dispose of acidic wastes quick enough. So the body plays a clever trick, converting acidic wastes to solid wastes, then storing the solid wastes in less critical areas, like arteries, capillary blood vessels or fat tissues. You see, most people don't understand the obesity equation. But obesity is the body in, perfect, in a perfect way protecting itself against over acidity. body will do everything it can to maintain that alkalinity by pulling electrons from the water we drink or the food we eat to maintain the delicate pH balance of the most important fluid of the body and that's the blood. Alkaline ionized water is loaded with negatively charged hydroxyl ions which act as powerful and pervasive antioxidants in the body actively seeking out positively charged free radicals that wreak havoc on our cells. When we take antioxidants, we're helping to neutralize the acids that are produced through metabolism. If you really need the antioxidant protection, nothing is more powerful than this water. Ionized water is actually restructured during electrolysis, which significantly improves hydration because the water becomes easier for the body to absorb and utilize. Water from tap or bottled sources is normally clustered in groupings containing 11 to 16 water molecules. But alkaline ionized water is reformed during ionization and the water molecules reduced to only about five to eight molecules per cluster. This allows the water to penetrate the cells easier and can help battle or prevent many of the problems associated with chronic dehydration, such as low energy, digestion disorders, constipation, and obesity. Microclustering splits the, the water, the size of the water clusters in half so that they are much more deeply penetrating in the body. They're able to actually enter the cell and cleanse the cell from within. Because rather than have a big ball trying to go into a cell, we have tiny little balls of H2O that can then permeate the membranes, hydrating that cell, which is so very, very important. Alkaline ionized water is also oxygen saturated. As water is ionized, the percentage of oxygen to hydrogen increases significantly, giving you a rich source of extra oxygen in a highly absorbable form, which can be almost double the amount of tap or bottled water. Drinking alkaline and ionized water provides extra oxygenation indirectly 
because when we're when we're in an alkaline state, the body cells, particularly the blood cells, the erythrocytes, then flow to every part of the body. We're hydrated, and of course, the cells move through a river, and that river is an alkaline river. Perhaps most importantly, alkaline ionized water can help give your body back its own ability to function at its highest level and maintain a proper pH balance by providing a rich source of alkaline minerals like calcium, magnesium, and potassium that the body can easily use. If someone was to ask me, what is the one thing that I can do to have better health? And the answer would be very simple. Start drinking alkalized and ionized water. Even if you're eating acidic foods, the most important thing is to start putting in the electron-rich alkaline fluid so you can neutralize those acids from the foods that you are eating and help to maintain that alkaline design.